Route 10, Hwasun Mosulpo Ole. Route Overview. Let's talk about Jeju Ole Trail, Route 10, which begins from Hwasun all the way to Mosulpo. Route 10 is 15.6 kilometers long and takes about 4 to 5 hours. The level of difficulty is medium. Jeju Ole Trail, Route 10, starts from Hwasun Golden Sand Beach, passes Sanbang Yonde Smoke Signal Tower, Sage Pogu Port, the Sage Fossil Site, Songaksan Mountain Observatory, the Pine Tree Walkway, Saral Orum, the Saral April 3rd Victims Memorial, Hamo Beach, and ends at Hamo Sports Park. Passing a typical seaside road in the early part of Route 10, the route includes the uphill trail to Songaksan Mountain, after that, a flat path continues. Hiking along Route 10, you'll be distracted seeing the handsome view of Sanbang Mountain, handpicked by many tourists as the top ocean view. Route 10 is paired with the Lehman Lake Wine Route in Switzerland as a friendship trail. Once you start hiking, you can't help but look back at Sanbang Mountain. If you keep hiking with a cool coastal breeze, Songak Mountain will welcome you as if it knows you are missing Sanbang Mountain. As you get out of Sage Pogu, the port, along the paved coastal road, the continuing coastal road leads to Songak Mountain. You will hike not only on the paved coastal road you've passed before, but also on different types of paths, such as a sandy path, a path on a cemented wall, a path along the ocean and mountain, a rocky path, and soil-covered path all next to the coastal road. The variety of paths won't let you get bored. The famous Sage Fossil Site lies on the midst of the coastal road where there's a footprint of a Neolithic man. Actually, it is not easy to see fossils closely because it is surrounded by a wooden fence, but you can still see the fossils from far away. Now we will climb the trail of Songak Mountain along the wooden fence. Another name of Songak Mountain is Jaruri Orum. Jaruri means the roars of waves. On Songak Mountain, you will find Jinji Cave, a kind of bunker created by Japanese soldiers at the end of the Pacific War. The caves have pores along the coastal cliff, which makes us feel the sorrow of modern history. As you hike along the Jeju Ole Trail, you will be able to see the heartbreaking wounds of Korean history in many beautiful places. On Route 10, you will meet Saral Orum and Alturu Airfield. Passing Alturu Airfield and hiking along the path connected to the seaside, we will pass through the narrow and gradual forest path and reach Hamo Beach, which is the southernmost coastal road. Hamo Beach was called Melke Beach because a large number of anchovies were caught in the past year. This beach, with fine sand and a shallow water level, is the place where the Netherlander Hendrik Hamel drifted during the Joseon Dynasty era. Passing the beach and hiking along the coastal road, we will reach the Hamo Sports Park, which is the finishing point. Oh, did you remember where to get your Jeju Ole passport stamped? The locations are at the starting point, the Jeju Ole Information Center at Hwasun Golden Sand Beach, at the midpoint, in front of the restroom of Saral Orum, and the finishing point, the Jeju Ole Information Center at Hamo Sports Park. Please get your stamps so that you can reminisce about where you visited.